The trailers show off two new party members, Linwell and Ro, their names might be slightly different in the localized version, as well as finally showing off some gameplay and combat. After watching these trailers, I found myself left with mixed feelings. Some things seem genuinely good or look promising, while other aspects worry or disappoint me. Starting off with the promising aspects, I think that the environments are probably the best the series has ever had before. They're working with uh, Unreal Engine 4 now instead of their old proprietary engine, and I think this has resulted in a huge visual upgrade that anybody who has seen past Tales games can definitely see immediately. The world is vibrant and colorful, while also appearing pretty well detailed. They're using a custom shader that I believe they call the Atmos Shader for this game. And it, it really works wonders for the environmental visual style. Traversing said environment should also be a bit more interesting, fluid, and dynamic based on the trailers and the article. You can now swim through bodies of water on the map, and seemingly even jump during field exploration. I hope this leads to more interesting dungeons as well, because field exploration and dungeons have both suffered in recent Tales installments. The character models also look quite good, with more detailed facial expressions and body animations. I look forward to seeing the cutscenes in this game. From what we've seen in trailers and been told through articles or interviews, I have no complaints about the characters or story so far. I hope they do a good job with the plot and characters. Obviously, the story is something I won't be able to judge at all until the game is out. The gameplay looks like a continuation from the design philosophy of Berseria. However, it does appear like basic attacks make a return. To me, this is a good thing, because having all the face buttons be special attacks, called arts in the Tail series of course, was something that didn't work well for me in Berseria. It made it feel like no attacks were special and that you were always spamming your special attacks at you know, any given moment. Looking at the gameplay trailers, it seems like arts are mapped to triangle, square, and X, with the circle button being used for something else. So maybe the circle button is what is used for the basic attacks. There's also a dodge roll that, if timed correctly, becomes a parry and allows you to retaliate and counterattack and keep a combo going. Overall, the gameplay looks fast, aggressive, and fluid, and team up attacks seem to make a return, which is nice. I do hope the game ends up requiring more of the player than just mashing attacks and occasionally dodging, but only time will tell. On the flip side, there are aspects that are not so promising. One such aspect that bothers me is that we're still abandoning the linear motion battle system, which is the trademark battle system of the Tales series, and in my opinion is a huge identifying feature of Tales gameplay. It set the past games apart from other action RPGs and RPGs in general. With Arise, it has followed the trajectory started by Zasiria and Berseria of eschewing the linear motion aspect of the gameplay in favor of something more akin to a standard third-person action RPG or action game. I'm admittedly not a big fan of this design philosophy for Tales, and I feel it makes the game stand out less against competition, even against other Bandai Namco games. It's, it sacrifices a core element in one of the charming aspects of the gameplay. The 2D fighting game aspect seems to have been completely buried at this point, but it was kind of clear they were heading down this direction since a while ago, so it's not exactly surprising, it's just kind of disappointing. But that doesn't mean that it can't be fun. As long as they have enough depth in the gameplay, which is something I think was missing in Berseria, um, then I'll be satisfied, probably. The overall focus of the game seems to be immersion. As such, the traditional end-of-battle victory scenes are gone, which have been a staple of the series in the past. There are instead voice lines that will play on the field after each battle. It makes sense to do this in order to more quickly transition between battle and exploration, but I still find it disappointing and many longtime fans will probably feel the same. They haven't shown them yet, but producer Tomizawa did confirm that there will still be skits, which is another series sa staple in this game. We will have to wait and see what form those will take and arise, because I'm sure they've reworked or changed them in some way, but I'm glad to hear that they are in the game, period. It's unclear at this point who is composing the soundtrack for this game, but so far the music has not stood out to me at all yet. It has all sounded kind of like gen generic fantasy game music to me. Maybe once we hear more music from the game, that opinion will change, and I certainly hope my opinion gets changed. But as of right now, I'm not blown away by anything I've heard from the music. It's also hard to tell at this point, but I hope the game incorporates proper aerial combat. We haven't had any real air combat since the two Vita games, Innocence R and Hearts R, and Exilia 2 on the PS3. 
I couldn't see any examples of the player manually jumping during combat, although he does have... Alfin, the main character, does have arts that pick him up into the air, and while he's in the air, the arts available to him seem to change. But it doesn't seem like you can manually jump, or maybe the player for this trailer just didn't do so. So we'll have to wait and see, but I wouldn't get my hopes up. Air combat, for some reason, they don't seem to want to do it in this third-person camera. I guess the physics would probably be difficult for them to program, and they just don't want to bother. I'm not sure. But maybe I'll be wrong. I hope so. Also, this is a very small thing. It might end up being nothing, but looking at the official Japanese website for the game, the player count is listed as one player. This could easily change on the website later, maybe they just forgot to update it, or maybe they're just referring to the fact that Tales games have always traditionally been single player games outside of combat, but when you go into combat, on the console Tales games at least, you can bring three friends with you for full four player co-op. But um, you know, that's, that's one of the unique aspects of the Tales series, and it's one of the only RPG series to do this, and having that in a real time action RPG series it's a lot of fun, and for me personally, I always play these games with friends or family, and it will suck if there's just no ability to do that at all. But hopefully, it'll turn out to have combat in, I mean, have co op in combat like past games, but we'll have to wait and see. It's not looking too likely, though. So, in conclusion, these are just a couple of trailers, and without a demo or the full game in our hands to f experience it firsthand, there's a lot of stuff we don't know and can't know. It can't make concrete decisions about at this point. I will say the game didn't look as amazing as I'd hoped. I definitely felt a sense of disappointment when watching these trailers, but after sitting on it for, you know, a couple hours and rewatching some of the trailers, it's I'm not totally down on this game. Like I said at the beginning, I have mixed feelings. I hope that this game will end up being good. And if they can nail the aspects like dungeon exploration, field exploration, which already seems like it could be a lot more interesting. If they have good story and characters and stuff, as long as the gameplay just feels responsive, I'll probably still have a good time with it. But I would prefer, obviously, if the gameplay can be can really really satisfy me. And for me that means it needs to be it needs to have depth to it. And my examples of my favorite combat systems for reference uh, in the series are Vesperia, Exilia 2, um, Innocence R, and uh, yeah, I think th those three are probably my favorites, at least out of the 3D Tales games. If you combine those three combat systems together in some way, you could make the best Tales combat for me personally. But of course, they aren't making these games for me, they're making the games to appeal to as many people as they can. And let's just hope that they haven't lost too much in the process. It will all come down to the execution, as always. But it's best not to overreact. A lot of people are freaking out and screaming, this is entails and all kinds of stuff. And I can sort of understand where they're coming from. But I think at this point, it's best to just chill, take a wait and see approach. So what are your thoughts about Tales of Arise? Are you looking forward to the game? Were you excited by these trailers? Were you disappointed by them? What are your hopes? What are your fears? Share them in the comments down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.